How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm coming back at it with another free bodybuilding Greek God program. This is the Hephaestus Greek God program. So please smash the like button, subscribe, share this with your friends. And again, if you have any other Greek gods or any other types of programs you'd like me to make or any comments or concerns in the comments below, let me know, okay? Hephaestus. Hephaestus is kind of, he is the forger or he's the guy who makes all of the weapons for all of the gods of Olympus. So he, his symbol is normally an anvil or a smith hammer. He's a forger. And when we look at his physique, there are a couple things that we can take note of. For one, he's got the shoulders and he's got those triceps and his legs. They, they, they're pretty defined. His chest is defined. Of course, he's a great god, but it's not like, you know, he's not Arnold. <laughs> we'll just put it that way, right? Um, his core, you can tell that his, uh, his obliques, they're very well defined, and he probably has a very well defined set of core. It looks very muscular. Um, in the, the photos that I'm posting, I'm I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that if his arm is in the way, but because he is a forger, I'm, it makes sense that his core, his shoulders, you know, um, when he strikes down with the hammer, his arms would be strong, and I would say that he had, would have very strong and well-developed forearms. So I took all of those things into mind when I was making this program. This program is a lower upper arms program, so similar to the Hercules program. Again, if you guys are excited, please leave a like and subscribe. We would really appreciate it. And without further ado, let's get right into the program. First things first, day number one. This is the lower day. We're doing leg press, four sets, six to 10 reps. Super set with Russian twists, attacking those obliques because we want that Greek God core. Next workout, goblet squats. We're doing three sets eight to 10 reps, and this is gonna be super set with cable crunches. Cable crunches are killer, beautiful for the core, really help me develop my abs, my ab, rectus abdominis, my ab muscles, really important. Give them a try. Uh, next thing after this, we're gonna be doing hamstring curls, three sets, eight to 10 reps. We're super setting this with the forearms. The forearms are important, guys, when we're building things. When you look at anyone who's doing labor jobs, they got those big beefy forearms, right? So let's let's make sure we're focusing on that. Um, and then we're finishing things off with dumbbell thrusters. So three sets, six to 10 reps. And that's basically it. Pretty much all we're doing. Dumbbell thrusters, if you guys don't know what those are, um, because this is a lower day, and I did say there's the emphasis of the shoulders, the reason why I threw this in is that what you're doing is you're grabbing two dumbbells, and you're gonna be going into a squat position, and you're gonna be squatting down, and when you come back up, you're gonna be doing a shoulder press. You're gonna be working your legs, it's a little bit of a burnout at the very end, and we're getting a little bit of the shoulders in there as well on the lower body day, why not? Why not, who says we have to be conventional? Um, and that's it, that's it for day number one. Day number two, we're doing push-ups, four sets, 10 to 15 reps. We're super saying this with caps. Pretty, pretty standard push-ups. Um, coming up next, we got overhead press. We're doing five sets of five. Just five sets of five, no, no super sets. Good old overhead press or military press, whatever one you want to call it. After that, we're doing cable rows, uh, three sets eight to 10 reps. And we're gonna be supersetting this with the tricep pushdowns, three sets, eight to 10 reps. So cable rows, just getting on the cables. They'll be by the whole cable system. They'll probably have all of these, they will probably have the row machine and the tricep push down close to each other. Just get on that super setting. After this, we're doing a giant set. So three exercises back to back. So we're doing hammer curls, cable crunches, and French press with the cables. So the reason why I say with the cables is because you can do the hammer curls with the cables, put the pin down, start hammer curling away, and then 
you put the pin up, you're gonna be doing the cable crunches with the same thing, with the same rope, and then you put the pin down again with the rope, you grab it overhead, and you'll be doing the French press with the rope. And this is great because you can do it all at the same place, which is perfect. Um, and that's the thing you're just gonna be ending on with day number two. Now we're going into day number three. Day number three. So this is gonna be your arm day. We start our arms off with a little bit of side lateral shoulder work. So we're gonna be doing side lateral raises. Um, I like to use the machine, but if you wanna use dumbbells, you can. Uh, three sets, eight to 10 reps, supersetting this with any core variation you'd like. I, if you wanna do some more Russian twists, give it a go, do what's easiest for you. After this, barbell curls. Four sets, eight to 10 reps, supersetting this with tricep push downs. Four sets, eight to 10 reps. We're doing four sets now. It's our arm day, lots of volume. We're throwing it at the arms and we're getting it done. After this, we're doing hammer curls. Hammer curls, um, and we're actually doing, this is a super set with the French press, and we're doing three sets, eight to 10 reps. Uh, you can use the cable system I was just talking about if you feel, if you'd like to. I like doing that. If you don't want to though, you wanna get some exercise variation in, or just feel some different type of stimulus, or feel your stabilizers engaging, engaging a little more, feel free to use the dumbbell. And we're ending this workout or this day off with our wrist curls, um, three sets, eight to 10 reps. So again, forearms are important, so we're getting that done. So that's the first three days, and now we're going into the fourth day. So fourth day, this is your second lower day of the program. So we're gonna be starting off with deadlifts. Deadlifts, three sets, eight to 10 reps. We're super saying this with the Russian twist. We're again, tacking those obliques. Really noticeable part in the statue of the Festus is his obliques. So we're getting it done. After this, we're doing jump squats, four sets, eight to 10 reps, and we're super saying this with wrist curls. So we're getting a little bit of that forearm work in there, and we're doing a little bit of calisthenic stuff when we're doing these jump squats. Um, jump squats are great. They always feel great and you're doing four sets. So to make up for the fact that you're not gonna be using a lot of weight or not using any weight at all, rather, we're doing a little bit more volume with the sets. Um, after this, we're gonna be doing leg extensions and hamstring curls, super seted, four sets, eight to, tw eight to 10 reps, eight to 10 reps. And then we're finishing this off with calves, guys. We're just, just gonna be doing calves, three sets, eight to 10 reps. And that's pretty much it for your second leg day. I like throwing in a little bit of calisthenic stuff in there. I hope you guys appreciate that. Um, now we're gonna come up with the fifth day. Day number five, we're doing chest flies, supersetted with push-ups. This is gonna be done, three sets, eight to 10 reps, chest flies. You can do it on the cable system, you can get the machine maybe, pick a poison, we're just super setting it with push-ups right on the floor, boys and girls. Right after this, we're doing cable rows. Three sets, eight to 10 reps. Pretty simple, no supersets. Keeping it simple. Moving on, overhead press. Four sets, six to 12, and we're super setting that with cable crunches. Cable crunches, you'll see it a lot of times, but I promise a lot of times in this program, but I promise if you actually start incorporating them into your workouts, or if you start hopping on this program, you'll notice some serious development in the rectus abdominis. I really, really like the cable crunches. Um, after this, we're finishing this off with a hammer curls and French press super set, tried and true, three sets, six to 10 reps. Now we're coming to the end here, which is gonna be day number six. And day number six, again, sticking to the theme of doing a little bit of shoulders work, shoulder work with the arm work in the same day. We're starting this off with arm press. Um, and we're super setting this with core. We're doing three sets, six to eight reps. So not so high in the rep count, but the arm press, awesome movement. 
Um, right after this, we're doing preacher curls. Super setting this with tricep kickbacks, four sets, eight to 10 reps. Tricep kickbacks, you're like really in over a little bit. Um, shout out to my boy, Tyler. He's a guy who really wanted me to throw this into the program. So I thought, why not? And I used to do them in high school a lot and they always, they always got me a little growth and development. So tricep kickbacks. That's the superset with the preacher curls. Four sets, eight to 10 reps. Coming next, hammer curls and tricep pushdowns. Four sets, eight to 10 reps. So again, you can always do the thing we talked about. Um, we're finishing this off with Zotlin curls. Three sets, as many reps as possible. So this is a complete burnout. If you don't know what a Zotlin curl is, it's completely understandable. The name sounds like some weird foreign shit. So you're basically curling up the weight. And once it gets up to here, you're twisting it around and coming down. And that's what a Zotlin curl is. So it's a burnout as many reps as possible. I like doing this with 20s or 15 pounds. And I'll literally just, I'll just keep going until my arms feel like they want to fall off. Uh, be careful, of course. <laughs> you don't want to do that too often. That's why we just have it at this last arm day. And then, you know, the seventh day you can rest and then repeat the whole process all over again. But that is the program. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, subscribe, and let me know again if there's any Greek gods that you'd like me to, or Greek god programs, or any type of free programs you'd like me to make, or you'd like to see in the future. Uh, let me know. Comments below. Take care, guys. Have a good one.